Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a good one as well. In the net. In the net, guys. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Hi, guys. I thought I'd do a bit of an explanation on why uh, you hear a lot on my channel short sessions. Uh, and you never hear any, anything of getting up at five o'clock in the morning to get their first light or even stop till uh, it goes dark. Uh, the reason being is that me and Dave are both carers for family members. Uh, myself, I look after my wife. Uh, she was in a cycling accident about 30 years ago just as we got engaged. And tragically, she ended up uh, breaking her neck and is paralysed from the chest down. So therefore, a lot of my time is spent caring for her and making sure she's happy and well. Me and Dave are really the polar opposite to White House and Mortimer. We're not famous, we're not funny, we're not rich, and we don't get days away and stopping overnight or things like that. The only difference being is that me and Dave are in good health for, for our ages and we do try to get out at least twice a week even though the sessions may only be three, four hours at the max. And that's what we do. Hopefully you enjoy the videos that we put out. Uh, I've got some new microphones and I've upgraded my camera. So hopefully now the audio and the quality of the editing will only get better and better as time moves on. This is the worst time of the year for me and Dave because the river is either on flood or it's blowing a gale like it is today. Uh, our lure fishing is a bit different from a lot of uh, what people do on other rivers and systems. Uh, we very, very rarely actually get to spot a fish that we uh, catch. It's usually searching uh, the rivers, knowing where they're likely to hold up. We fish on big rivers uh, for the pike, perch and chub, and then a smaller one for the trout, but it is, isn't really crystal clear and there's no glides so it, it is more of you've got to think where the fish are going to be rather than actually spot them before you cast to them but we do all right and that's one thing that uh, Mortimer and White House don't have on us we actually catch probably a hell of a lot more fish than they do even though they spend a lot more time out there anyway exploration over I'm going to get back out now I'm after the pint today uh, where I catch it is another thing. Uh, hope you enjoy and fingers crossed that something uh, lands in my net before the end of this session. I'm not sure how the wind is picking up on this at the moment, but it is blowing an absolute hooligan. I'm hoping that my microphone is still not too distorted, but I shall uh, find out when I get back and put this up. God, I think I had a bite then. Bugger. Let's hope it comes back. Another thing that YouTube has done for me and, and making these videos, it actually kind of extends the hours I get involved in fishing because I may only get eight hours a week maximum on the bank, but believe me, editing and saving and deleting it takes probably twice as long as that so it keeps my fishing alive for me and it's something i enjoy and i'm hoping that my editing and the content gets better and better uh, and doesn't bore everybody after a few months uh, me and dave are very enthusiastic anglers we've both been fishing for over 50 years now and obviously on Dave, you can tell that just by looking at his face. Uh, he's definitely the straight man between us. And I'd like to think of myself as a bit more entertaining. No, not entertaining. I kind of think of myself a bit more of the outgoing one. The one that's likely to do the 
talking and, and the editing where Dave's just quite happy spending his time casting and catching fish which he does very well to be honest with you and uh, he's a great sounding board and, and someone I can ring up and say Dave the weather's looking good for next Wednesday can you make it uh, because obviously with both of us caring we both have to make sure that we can make the same day and uh, we've had many times where we've both been planning to go uh, a certain day of the week and then for one of us to have to pull out at the very last minute but because we both live that lifestyle we don't get upset about it we don't get annoyed about it if, if a trip gets cancelled it gets cancelled uh, our families are more important to us than a fishing trip well that's what I'm going to say for the video anyway uh, but joking apart family comes first and fishing is a very close second and I was a bit wary of people making YouTube videos in the early days because I thought they're just doing it for ego and for potentially making money out of it and I thought to myself well they're giving a lot of spots away where people who put the hours in and the time in to find the spots themselves uh, and then it gets blown because someone's turned up and caught a few fish but with social media nowadays, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, whatever, everyone knows about everything that's caught nowadays. So I don't feel as concerned about that as I used to do. But it keeps me feeling that I'm alive and fishing, even when I'm still at home. And if I do make a, a nice clip, and there's a couple of fish to grace the net during the day. It gives me a sense of pride. And sometimes that's all you can ask for. A bit of happiness, a bit of pride in what you do. I always like to do things well, whether it's caring, fishing, or now making better quality editing on the, on the YouTube videos. Uh, I'm not on a PC yet. I'm just using a iPad to do the editing and free software so anyone can do it just takes a bit of time a bit of patience and uh, hopefully learn from your mistakes i wish the pike could already up and take a bite though i must admit it's getting uh, <laughs> getting to a point where i'm thinking are they going to actually turn on today but if when you've got three hours you fish those three hours and you fish them hard because one cast can make the difference between a great day and a bad day so you've got to keep on casting Fish on, fish on. Decent one as well. Whoa, she's not a bad one. If we get her in, Checks. No, In the net! In the net guys! Yes! That's what we're talking about. 
Oh, result, result, result. She's a nice fish. Yes. Yes. Hey, that's what we're talking about, boys. Perseverance. There you go guys, it's what we're here for, 12 and a half pound river pike and all the beauty. Quick measure on her, 90 centimetres. Back in the water. Oh she goes. Get it. Yes. Result at last lads. Twelve and a half pound. And a cut thumb. Right guys, that's it for today. Uh, I'm actually recording this the following day because do you know I told you about I was gonna learn by my mistakes? Well after I'd caught that nice uh, 12 and a half pound pike and put it back, I changed my battery and switched off my uh, microphone. So for the rest of the session, there was no audio whatsoever. Fortunately for me, there wasn't anything caught, uh, but I'm learned by that mistake and I will be checking in the future. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe because us carers need a bit of care as well. Okay, guys, see you soon, bye.